time. So I know you guys have been dying for more footage of the GLI. Uh, however, we still have our 2,000 Volkswagen Cabriolet that we're, we've been kind of neglecting. Uh, we haven't really been driving it much. Um, there's a ton of mods that we still have to do with that. Um, so uh, there's still a ton of mods that we want to do with the with the Jetta. However, we've got to take some time out and, uh, and, and do some more uh, footage on the, uh, the Cabriolet and get some things buttoned up on the Cabriolet here. Um, so uh, today we're going to be uh, painting the calipers red um, and because the calipers are kind of rusty and so I just want to, you know, get the rust off them, paint them red and, uh, you know, kind of make them look like the, like the GLI a little bit. Um, I know there's been a ton of videos of people doing that. Um, and there's a ton more things coming to this, uh, coming to the uh, Cabrio that we're going to be doing in the next couple weeks. So please stay tuned for that. Uh, we're going to be uh, doing a video on some cheap eBay coilovers. Um, we're going to try them out, see what they, uh, see how hard they are to put in this car, um, ride around on them for a couple weeks, see how they feel. If not, we're going to go with the, the more you know expensive name brand coilovers. Um, but we're going to test out the uh, uh, the cheap, uh, the cheapest coilover kit that we can get for this car on Amazon. We're going to be testing that out. Um, but for today, what we're going to be doing is uh, the, um, the calipers for right now. Um, so I've already taken off, pre-taken off the wheel. Um, so I just have to start taking some of the surface rust off, start taking the, the caliper apart, prepping the caliper, uh, and making sure, uh, you know, wrapping the car make sure the red paint doesn't get on everywhere um it was I spent 25 dollars at the auto parts store got some red caliper paint and of course cheap brake cleaner clean all the parts make sure there's no oils or or anything on top you know uh, stopping the paint from adhering to the metal and uh so that's going to be our uh, project today so stay tuned and uh, let's uh, get these calipers painted 13 millimeter socket. This is a little too much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen the caliper bolts. Alright, so the two bolts to take off the the brake pad uh, guides, I guess you can call them, um, those were 17 millimeters. Um, I had to use some force to get those off because they've been rusting on the car for quite a while. Um, there's quite a bit of rust and corrosion from when this car was sitting, um, and it was sitting for, for quite a while. Um, so there's quite a bit of rust and corrosion down in here. As you can see, it's kind of 
seen better days from the looks of it. So, so now that we got those off, we're gonna clean clean these off. Um, yeah, you want to get a wire brush and shake some of the some of the rust loose. I mean, as you can see, they've been neglected for some time. So, we got some painter's tape on the guide, uh, guide boot and the guide pins um, and covered up the holes. Obviously, I don't want any red paint inside there. Um, so then, let's shake the paint can. Let's see, what does it say here? And then, we'll just do a quick dust coat. Coat, I guess you could say. Just to just to get it uh, just to get it sticky, just for something to adhere to, because I I cannot find uh, caliper uh, paint primer. I'm sure they make it, but I have not been able to find any. So what I did is I just did a quick uh, quick tack uh, tack spray, just so that the rest of the spray, uh, paint will adhere to to this paint. And in the next coat, we could actually go a little bit uh, heavier um, with the second coat. Um, or the main coat, I guess, um, to uh, to make the uh, calipers really uh, really right. So we'll uh, we'll wait a little while, let these uh, let this set up a little bit, and then uh, we'll come back and uh, we'll do we'll do that.
jelly. No, you're welcome. So it wasn't that hard. Uh, it wasn't easy, but it wasn't that hard. Um, it just gives a nice little added touch onto uh, onto the car that wasn't there before. Um, so it's just something uh, you know, something cheap. Just let it uh, continue to uh, to cure. Um, the can says it takes a couple days to, uh, to to cure. Obviously, we don't drive the car very much, um, only on weekends. Um, and unfortunately, not this weekend because it's been raining on and off. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to do all four of the tires, and then uh, we'll come back to you with uh, with a finished product. I mean, we got a little teeny bit of overspray here on the hoses but this is fine because these are going to be replaced with stainless steel braided brake lines as these are starting to pit and rust um, so I'm just going to get a uh, braided brake line kit um, and do that uh, but we've got no, no overspray inside the wheel wells or anything everything came out pretty uh, pretty good um, you know we did our makeshift uh, our makeshift um, just make sure seating surfaces for our wheels are nice and clean. Um, you know, we did our makeshift uh, cover up with a garbage bag to uh, to get the uh, painting done. But other than that, it's, uh, you know, not that bad. It ain't the best perfect job in the world, but it's not, uh, it ain't the worst. So uh, hopefully this uh, this works out pretty, uh, pretty good. Day. Um, the finally got all four of the wheels done, um, all four of the brake calipers, I should say, uh, done and painted. Uh, so I'll do a quick, uh, quick walk, walk around on the outside. I'll show you what the, how it came out. 
And it came out, came out pretty good. It definitely looks a lot better than what it did. Um, no more rust. I didn't need the brake calipers. Um, and it was a fairly easy project to do. It took some time, um, but if you rush through it, it's gonna render a shitty job. So, you just do a, take your time and it'll come up pretty good.